Hey, what's up, everybody? Brent from Brand Speed. Thanks for watching Brand Speed TV. Pretty pumped today, something a little more fun. And normally I just show you cars, but today I want some interaction. I want some comments from you. Out of the five Mustangs behind me, which I'm gonna show you, they're all supercharged. Which one would you pick? And maybe leave me a comment why. So we're talking GT350, we're talking GT500, three valve, a couple Gen 1 supercharged Coyotes. Today is about which one would you pick? So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna pull them all in the dyno cell, tell you whether it's a road race car, drag race car, is this a normal street car? What do you wanna do with it? Leave me a comment. If you haven't, hey, please subscribe and notify, stay up to date, let's get started. All right, before we get started, so remember, leave a comment on which car you would pick. Car number one, 14 GT convertible automatic. All right, our Roush, 710 our supercharger package. This car is a cruiser, all right? So you're the type of person that wants a car, you put the top down, just cruise around and enjoy. This right here will be a sweet car for that. Doug, let's go take a look at the supercharger real quick before I bring another car in. But it's a TDS 2300 or 710R package. We are running a JLT cooler induction system on this particular vehicle right here, but it's intercooled supercharger. And this car being automatic, this car will fly. I mean, torque comes in really, really good. You go wide open throttle and you have like peak torque right away. So this would be an example of a really fun street car, daily driver, whatever. So maybe you're the type of person you want a daily driver, this would be a good car for you. Plus you can drop the top and have a lot of fun driving around. So there it is, 14 GT automatic, 17 hour supercharger, Cooks headers, free-flowing exhaust, just a really sweet street setup. Let's bring in car number two. All right, car number two, <laughs> you know me, that's my fave. GT350 Whipple Supercharged, over 800 rear wheel horsepower. I will put a link in the description of a video made on this car a while back, but this car is awesome. So, maybe you're like the road race type or you want a really kind of rare, badass street car. Here you go. So Doug, come over here and take a look. We've got the Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger. This car is awesome. It's a 2019. GT350 making over 800 of the tires. Like I said, if you go to the description, I'll put a link on that. But here we have so far. So we have the Cruiser, the convertible, the 710 horsepower, automatic, 2014 Mustang. Now we have the over 800 real wheel horsepower. GT350 is ready to go out and do some road racing. What's in store for car number three? this car number three three valve mustang it's gonna be the only three valve mustang i'm going to show you today but it's set up for road racing and actually this car is kind of rare you may love it it's a Steeda mustang that we built a while back so you got a 2006 Steeda mustang car number 50 paxson supercharged it's intercooled has a little 302 stroker in it we're not running a bunch of boosts on this right around 12 psi car makes like 560 the tires which is really good to have a three valve Mustang. So, it's road race ready. It's not your normal daily driver. What do you think about this? So be, this be the car you pick? I mean, I don't know. I like it, it's a three valve. It has about, like I said, pump gas 93 octane, 12 PSI, making 560 the tires. But Doug, look at the engine compartment. This thing is sweet. Four racing intake manifold. And of course, our Brent Speed Novi 2200 polished supercharger package, exhaust and those sweet, sweet Lopey Idle Detroit Rocker Cam. So the cars I'm showing you right now, this is the one that sounds like the most muscle car. So if you're someone that likes that muscle car sound, go into the driving or at the stoplight, like whatever, this might be the car for you. I'm gonna go to car number four. race mode gt500 a couple things on this this car's not quite finished probably gonna make around 800 of the tires but set up for drag racing it was shipped to us completely stock 
The wheels that are on it right now are not the wheels that are going to be on them. We have some weld racing wheels, so imagine that on there. But built, brand speed, 5.4 liter, big Whipple supercharger, Detroit rocker cam. So earlier, when I showed you the three valve and I said, hey, that might be the only car I'm going to show you that sounds like an old school muscle car. Well, this one does also. My bad, I forgot. Sells a manual transmission, fully built rear end, drive shaft, everything. This car is set up for drag strip only. So, hey, pretty cool. This client bought this car stock and just wanted a drag car. And that's what we're going to turn it into. Doug, let's go over here and take a look at the engine compartment. So, maybe you're a drag strip only type person. You might like this. 5.4 liter GT500. Of course, the Whipple supercharger, built short block. Detroit rocker cams, you got the JLT oil separators, you got the cold air induction system, big injectors, fuel system, everything ready to rock. So that's car number four. We've looked at some road race cars, we looked at your normal convertible, that was car number one. Kind of like a street car. We have one more to show you, car number five, my car, the Heimel Coyote Mustang, street slash strip. Let's check that one out. If you made it this long, thank you so much. This is car number five. It's my Mustang. It's my 2011 High Mile Coyote. Please leave that comment. Which car out of all these would you want? Here's what we have going. So the 2011, I call it the High Mile Coyote because I bought it with 163,000 miles. You might have saw the video series on it, about 18 videos. It's not High Mile anymore. So this is what we call your street slash strip car. Back when I had the stock engine, made 630 real wheel horsepower, ran 1040s in the quarter mile. Doug, let's look at the engine right now. We have a built Coyote. So we're talking all forged internals. Vortec JTBR supercharger, Cooks headers. I mean, this thing is built front to back. So maybe you're someone that just wants a fully built car. You can drive on the street and go to the drag strip. We're talking full BMR, everything on the suspension, even an anti-roll bar, fully built rear end. So we got some like axles by Strange. We have strange adjustable shocks and struts. Just a really sweet setup, everything on this. JMS Launch Max, because this is an automatic. MSD two-step. Everything you need to go fast at the track or drive it on the street, if you can handle it. So when you build a car like this and you have all the race, spherical and suspension, it's definitely clunky driving around. But hey, you go to the track, the car will dead hook. Deal with a little bit of noise on the street. But that's a high model Cody right there. So. Okay, I showed you five cars. If you don't mind, let me know which one did you want. We have normal cruiser, top down. We've got road race cars, three valve, GT350, drag race only, GT500, and then the drag race slash street. I'm Al Cody right here, 2011 Mustang, fully built, ready to rock. So please subscribe and notify. Check the details. I'll put some more info, probably some links to some old videos right in the details right there. And then maybe you're like, hey, how much does this cost to get built? Simply email quote at brentspeed.com. Thanks for watching. That was fun.